happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, my good friend Nate asked me to be a guest artist on his, or Nate's Art Lab collab. That's very hard to say. Uh, Nate's Art Lab collab. Uh, <laughs> and the theme was finger painting. So I thought, sure, I can do that. I got to figure out what I was going to do to kind of set myself apart. So thinking of something that nobody else was going to do. I don't know if anybody will or not, but I'm going to do a ring pour and I'm going to do it over top of my hand. So I was thinking, okay, I could doodle with my fingers, but why not just pour paint over it and see what happens? So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I was trying to get some inspiration for colors. So I've got a lot of colors that are just leftovers hanging out on the shelves. I was like, how can I incorporate these? And I was digging through some old family photos and I, I lived in Virginia and I lived right on the water and right across the street from our house was like this marshy uh, entrance from the river. And it smelled awful every time the tide went out. But I do remember going over there and kind of looking for crabs and stuff. But I just I have this thing in my head where it was just green marsh, a little bit of, you know, the, the green from the water, the algae, and then, of course, blue representing the water. So I was like, let me see if I can rep find some of these colors. Because what I want to try to do this year is make pieces of art that's reflective of what I can remember or pictures of from my childhood and even adulthood. So that's what I'm going with this piece. So I'm gonna use some green, some darker colors, some blue. I wanna see if I can kind of recreate that image that I have in my head of that marshy land. So let's get down on the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. All right, so what I've got is a little 14 by 18 gallery wrap canvas. Um, I uh, was trying to think outside the box. What could I do that maybe everybody else wasn't going to do with this finger painting? So I'm going to do a traditional ring pour and I'm going to tilt it so that it doesn't look like a ring pour anymore. It's going to be the lines are kind of going to go across the canvas is my goal. Now, how am I going to do it? I'm going to put my hand down on the canvas with a little bit of an arc like this. And I'm gonna ring pour over top of my hand. Then I'm gonna use that design that's left here on the canvas to get my uh, painting. All right, so I'm gonna need nine ounces of paint. I'm gonna use a 16 ounce cup and I'm gonna fill it up probably most of the way because I want to account for the, the amounts of paint I'm gonna be on my glove and where it's gonna land on the canvas. So let's get started filling up the cup. All right. Now these colors, I don't know everything because these are a lot of my leftovers. I do know this one here is phthalo green mixed in with a little bit of army green. And this is a custom mixed yellow. This is artist loft soft body white. This is a custom mix blue. This is 24 karat gold and champagne gold. And this is an army green that I did for the service pour I did a while back. Separate my greens here. Nate called me up and said, would you want to take part in our finger painting collab with the art lab? And I was like, sure, why not? And he said, we're finger painting. And I was like, wow, that's going to be very interesting. We all like to doodle with our fingers in our painting. Um, but this is be the first time that I know of Anybody's poured over their actual hand. Very interesting. I'm just going to keep layering just because, again, I want to make sure I have enough paint 
And I'm just going to use up this last bit of color. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of an arc. That way my paint, when I pour it over my hands and fingers, it stays up here and it's gonna run off. So let's see here, center it. All right, let's start. paint drip off the, bo the bottom. <laughs> this is going to be wild. So the question is, is do I leave it or kind of change some of the shape? I think for playfulness, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And what I will need to do is I'll need to put some flow extender down and I don't mind using what's left of these other paints. Because these paints have been sitting around for quite a bit of time, probably about a month or so, maybe a little more. So instead of just having them sit around, let's use them all as flow extender. torch all right Thank you. 
All right. Let's see what we got here. We still have that. Let's push this blue down just a little bit. back Pushing some of this blue off the top. All right, I'm gonna clean up these edges here. Now bring you guys in for a close up. Okay guys, here we are with the wet result. So it really represents the area that I'm from, from Virginia, the Hampton Roads area. You know, when the tides roll out, you get to see kind of the marsh and the mud. And I'm used that blue to kind of represent the water. You can see how the lines just moves through it. Being able to pour over my hand really created some cool effects. All right, let's see this when it's dry. All right, here is the dried result. Wonderful movement in this piece. It really does remind me of home where I used to live on the river lake. Bring it in here up close. that's going to do it for today so that is the piece it dried really well i love what's happening with the directions of this it just cuts the ripply wave kind of a thing so it definitely represents that marshy area um you got this deep greens you got the blue and the white kind of scattered through here um so overall i really really enjoy this piece it's a small piece so get some gloss varnish on it but it's going to bring the colors back to life, but I just like what it did and pouring over my hand was kind of cool. <laughs> so, uh, thanks a lot, Nate, for inviting me to be a part of this. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great rest of the day. Make sure you watch the rest of the collab. I think after me is going to be Kelly with Feral Art. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.